Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by ChampionNews.net, your choice for the conservative voice. This is Carol Parisi. Today, our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have Mr. Jim Edwards, and he is the, uh, the director of the Republican Renaissance PAC, right. and their theme for this cycle, for these next few weeks, um, six plus six minus one, and that could be very good news for Illinois, right, Mr. Edwards? Well, that's right, and we talked last segment, you asked how is it possible to get that even though we don't have Republicans running in a lot of these different races? And yes, it is. First of all, uh, we are hearing, first of all, the quality of candidates that we have running mm -hmm. is like four notches above what I think is already in there on the Republican side. But if you compare that to the Democrat side, it's like light years more quality people. What are people. you scaling that on, quality well, of people? Uh, for example, the, the, the people that, some of the Democrats can't hardly even speak, mm -hmm. and um, they're, they're the intelligence level. We've got Democrats that show up on the Senate and the House floor drunk to represent the people. Fist and, um, fights. Fist fights on the floor. Uh, it is just pathetic. So the quality of people is there, but, but secondly... There's a lot of small business owners running this cycle. We have, uh, we have two doctors. We have one attorney. We have a rabbi. We have an ex-nun. We have lots of small business people, three and, cops. And we have such a variety of people running, but they're intelligent and they're driven uh, not to become in politics. Most of them want to go back to their whatever their jobs are now. Mm -hmm. They're going in it just the same reason the Tea Party people are in it. Right. They're sick and tired of what's going on. Same set of values as right. these people that you've been vetting them, and you're certain they've got those values, and those are the ones we're putting money and political effort behind. We got every reason to win six in the House and the Senate just right. based on the quality of the people that are running. And we can't compete with the money on the Democrat side. It's pouring Madigan in. Madigan is rich. Get over the, the idea, the folks unions. out there, that Republicans are rich. They don't have any money to put into politics compared to Mr. Madigan and his deep pockets from the trial attorneys and from the teachers' dues. The teachers have been tapped out of their money by Mr. Madigan. So if you ask, if people ask, can we really win and, and compete with the Democrat money that's rolling in from the unions and all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here's what we're hearing. Every section, every county in the state, we're hearing from Democrats, they're disgusted with their own party, and mm -hmm. deservedly so, they should be. I would be completely embarrassed to be call myself a Democrat in the state of Illinois right now. They have wrecked this state, as you said, Jack, most corrupt and most broke state, once one of the Republicans party, did it. Once a great party, but your father's Democrat is dead and That's gone. Right. It's the, dominated by a bunch of slugs that have taken the public money and put it into right. vendors of their choice who put it back into the pockets of Mr. Madigan. I'm not accusing him of a felony quite, but I'm accusing him of political machinations that have made the Democrats rich. Well, I will tell you this. I know enough about psychology that and I want all the Democrats out there, especially you're an office holder, to listen very carefully. Corruption can cause heart attacks. <laughs> so you better be ready, folks, because if you're doing corrupt stuff, you could very well have a heart attack. So now, Michael, you things, were going to say something. <laughs> well, I know that. Uh, one of the things that I, w I wanted to jump in and say is you look at Chicago, which has been designated uh, the most corrupt city in the nation. And you see all the graft and all the pay to play and how that has functioned for five decades. That corruption, that, uh, that greed has sifted its way down to Springfield. And because Michael Madigan holds the purse strings, he's the go-to guy. I mean, you don't, if you're a Democrat down in Springfield, you don't go up against Michael Madigan, or I guarantee you he's going to primary somebody against you and run you That's out right. of a job. You bring up so a good sick point. that they play politics on the ta hardworking middle class taxpayer dollars, on the people's dollars. That's despicable. But Mike brings up a really good point, Mike, and, and it's this. Folks, Power if you're point. listening to this program and you usually vote Democrat, uh, do yourself a favor, do your family a favor. Don't vote for the Democrat state rep this time around. Even because if it's your neighbor that you think is okay, don't vote for him. Why? Because if you don't vote for him, that's a way to fire Madigan. If we don't have your state rep make it and another guy, I don't care if it's a rep, we want the Republicans to win, but just don't, 
don't vote for the Democrat. Vote for the Independent. Vote for the Green. Vote for anyone except the Democrat because we need to fire Madigan. Period. Particularly the, the, the carrier of, that has to be in power down there is the Republicans. They've got to just go another six in House and Senate. Six seats isn't very much, but boy, it is climbing a mountain uh, really to, to go through the money that Madigan pours into this thing. Michael. Yeah, I, I just got to jump in, and this, this is why the Renaissance Pack is so important. Because the Republicans in the past, they haven't, they haven't exactly been innocent in this. Wow. I mean, they, they made a decision that if you can't beat them, let's join them. And they stood for nothing. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there are those, candidates. Those guys are gone from the party. They lost yeah. the thing uh, with the last governor's race. Uh, the people that were for the status quo, they and the donors forum are all gone. The but if you get the too. IEA down there saying, boy, that was a real tough election, how would you like to go the next three elections without having to worry about re-election? All you have to do is sponsor this legislation. They yeah, do this all corrupt. the time. It's you know what? So no. that's Jim. why we need people of integrity and character that Jim is meeting and introducing, people that will stand up for the taxpayers in now, Illinois. Now, Jim, do you, do, are you finding the candidates that the Republican Renaissance PAC is vetting and the candidates that are running on the Republican ticket this year have the political will to do what it takes to reform these p pensions that are bankrupting Illinois? They have to actually sign a pledge that they will. So when Mike talks Your about pledge. integrity, by the way, we, have, we are supporting people of integrity. But I'll tell you, the other group that's critical to the integrity of this whole process, that is the Patriots and Tea Parties and Great Awakening groups. That we, are you know there. what? I, we're going to talk about that. We're going to have a whole segment on the, on the grassroots, the strong, bold grassroots movement. But I, I noticed here you're, you're saying 11 House and 9 Senate candidates are refusing their pensions. 11, no, six of each. No, 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 no. There were 11 House candidates oh. and nine Senate candidates are refusing their state-sponsored pensions. Right. That uh, is yeah. huge. Yeah. That Imagine is that. huge. And, and so you talk about people with character and integrity. Right. Why are they doing that? Because the state is broke. It, they it, know that. So they're willing to send a message and say, I'm not even signing up for the pension because they're they people of integrity. They realize it's bankrupt. They know that it's a scam and they don't want to be there part of the, the problem. They don't want to be part of the solution. Up for that, are yeah, how many no, Democrats some, are refusing their pension? There's some Democrats that are talking about that, but well, they they're not Democrats. There are more Democrats, incidentally, talking about pay increases. And we hear it from our guys all over the state. they are Democrats talking about increasing taxes already. <laughs> we just had the 67% <laughs> increase in income tax. Increase. They're talking about raising it because we need they need money to spend. Lisa Madigan. They're talking about property taxes. They're talking about every kind of tax you could imagine because that's all they know. People, we get down to two and to, to these two things. <clears throat> Nobody can should forget this in this election. This is the most corrupt state in the union. This is the most busted financial state in the union. And who's been in charge? Madigan and a bunch of crummy Democrats and people feeding money into them for their own damned advantage, whether it's the asphalt roads or the or the, or the lawyers or the the union that are pouring uh, that are actually running the schools, that money's all pouring through Madigan. All and we got to get rid of that. Taxpayers back. It's all on the hardworking yeah. middle class taxpayers back. Michael. Meanwhile, uh, Lisa Madigan just recently added nine million dollars to her payroll by giving employees some pretty hefty raises. Very nice. On the hardworking taxpayers' dollar. Makes sense, doesn't it, when the state is broke as You know it is. what is so frustrating is that the, the middle class, the, 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 the taxpayers are being squeezed from so, many end, from, from so many ends. How long before people just keep fleeing Illinois? We are losing more businesses every year. They are We're, fleeing. Yes, they right are. Right down the street from where, where our studio is, there's a, a man that's gone over to, to Wisconsin. Oh, well, Wisconsin I was over is to doing see great. A, a million square foot warehouse up in Wisconsin that left Illinois. A great businessman, but his big warehouse has gone over the border. A lot of people are fleeing and because they're lined up is right. the animosity of these left-wing jerks and damn fools that are running the, the, rep, the Democratic Party. Well, it's another thing I hear statewide from our candidates. Their businesses are waiting for the election, 
and there'll be a mass exodus like we've never seen if the Democrats and remain in power. And how is that going right. to help the tax base? It you know, won't. ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. We're going to have more from uh, Mr. Jim Edwards. We're going to have another guest come on to, to tell you about some of the solutions that are happening right now in Illinois to help with the six plus six minus the one maniacal Michael Madigan. Stay with us, and we're going to be back <laughs> after the break.